Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Friday, so it is weigh-in day. We're going to talk about my week, my weigh-in, the Weight Watchers workshop topic, so if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on, because I do a weigh-in every Friday, and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those custom to you personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose all of my weight as well as maintain my 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or if you just want to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things as well as my free supportive Facebook group, we would love to have you come join us, are all down in that description box. So let's talk about my week, my weigh-in, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a pretty good week. The only bad thing about my week is that I started my cycle. I mentioned that in last week's weigh-in that I do track my cycle, so I kind of have an idea when it's going to start. I was a day early, and here we are. Here we are on my cycle, which typically makes me tired, a little bit more fatigued, a little bit grumpy and a little bit more hungry. So it's always a struggle, as you know, during that hormonal cycle week. So that's really the only thing that I have to complain about if I had something to complain about this week would be starting my cycle. Other than that, I honestly had a really really good week. I'm back at maintenance, as you may know. I'm eating at my maintenance calories, and for me, that's up to 2,500 calories per day. Those are my calories. Yours will be different. That is why I recommend those personalized macros and calories so that you know exactly what you should be eating every day to lose weight, maintain your weight, be successful in your overall health journey. Also, an exciting thing I did this week is ordered the outfit that I think I'm going to wear to my 30 year high school reunion. When it comes in, I'll share it with you guys in a what I eat in a day, we'll try it on, you can tell me what you think of it, if you think I should wear it, if you like it, if you don't like it. I'm excited about it and I'm hoping that it's everything that I want it to be when it comes in, so stay tuned for that. I definitely want your feedback on what I should be wearing to my reunion. I do head to Spokane here a little bit later this month for my 30 year high school reunion. Reunion. I drank my water this week. I got my workouts in this week. It's still pretty miserable at boot camp. It's still extra hot and extra muggy and humid outside. I'm extra sweaty and like I've been literally drinking my entire bottle of water about halfway into my workout. So it's a little bit more miserable this time of year to do my boot camp workout and our workouts have been intense. I actually went to sit down to film today's video and my glute muscles are so sore. My calf muscles are sore, my arms are sore, everything is sore. So it's been really intense and hot and humid at boot camp and I've been in the gym doing my train well workouts twice a week. So my body, my body is sore and tired. When I came home from boot camp this morning before I even got ready for the day, I knew that my body needed some type of help, some type of treatment. So I actually gave myself a massage with my Bobbin Brad massage gun. This is an upgraded version of the Q2 Mini. Now Troy and I have the Q2 Mini. I actually gave that to my in-laws. And so when they released the upgraded pro version, I had to pick it up because I loved my mini massage gun so much. But my mother-in-law has been having a lot of issues with her back that I thought that she could use the gun. So I gave it to her. So I had to go ahead and grab the newest upgraded version. Again, this is the Bob and Brad Q2 Pro Massager Mini Gun. Bob and Brad are chiropractors here on YouTube who have millions of subscribers, and they created a massaging line, which is really beneficial, as you know, for chiropractic health, as well as soreness from exercising. I'm telling you, I feel a million times better after using that, this, after using this this morning. This is engineered for target relief. It's a pocket-sized powerhouse. This one actually boasts an innovative heat and cold head, which is revolutionizing portable therapy. Melt away tension with soothing heat therapy that stimulates blood flow or alleviate swelling with the calming effects of cold therapy. Seamlessly transitioning between the two with preset controls. This weighs less than a pound, is pocket sized and effortlessly slips in, into any bag for on-demand muscle care. It's extremely quiet, high performance, and delves deep into muscle fibers, eradicating knots and tension with professional grade 
precision. You can customize your recovery with five speed settings, five unique massage heads, and easy USB charging. I love that this gives you deep tissue massaging. It really just gets in and gives you relief from those, ten those areas with a lot of tension and soreness. And I'm obsessed with the heat and cold therapy attachment. This is so revolutionary that you can actually switch between heat and cold very easily. So this is the attachment that delivers heat and cool. So right now you can see that it's on heat and there is multiple settings for the intensity of the heat. And then if you click the other button with the little snowflake on it, it's the cold head. And you can alternate between different intensities of heat and cold therapy. This is truly revolutionary and I love that it's included with the Q-Pro massage gun. This is my favorite head right here that I typically use. It's the one I use today, the little ball head, because it really gets in there and gives those pressure point relief. This thing has been an absolute lifesaver. And I will tell you that Troy has been using it as well because you know that he has a lot of issues with his legs and it's really beneficial for him to use this on his feet and his legs. So this has been an amazing addition to the Bob and Brad line. And like I said, my in-laws love the original Q2 mini and I'm obsessed with the pro. I love the hot and cold. That is seriously game changing. This is extremely affordable and you can pick it up right off of Amazon. You can get 10% off using the discount code here on the screen. I will link this down below. You can utilize that extra 10% off. And again, right off of Amazon. Thank you, Bob and Brad for making this. This is absolutely revolutionary and the most amazing massage gun I've ever used. So I plan on continuing to use this over the weekend to help give me a little bit of relief from my soreness. I am typically sore most of the time, so having this is going to be really, really beneficial. My good friend Melissa and I went and painted pottery this last weekend. It was so hard to decide what to paint, but we definitely want to go back. It's a small local business, woman-owned business here in our community, and we're actually talking about going to a pottery painting day, my whole boot camp group. It was just really fun to hang out with her. We actually went to lunch with Troy and her husband Donnie beforehand. It was just a really good day. I had a really, really good week. Aside from my cycle and being sore, I had an amazing week. Before I jump into my weigh-in on my cycle, let's talk all about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is how to respond to unhelpful thoughts. When we're beating ourselves up, when we're not giving ourselves grace, when we're telling ourselves that we can't do it, that we're failures, that we're not successful, when we start comparing ourselves to others, these are all going to help you respond to that in a more positive way. We can't completely turn off our brain and we can't completely turn off beating ourselves up sometimes, but there are some things that we can do to combat that. First up is to recognize unhelpful thoughts. Look out for self-talk that moves you further away from your goals. Ugh, I ruined my tracking streak. I can't stick to anything. Why bother? they're trying. Give yourself a reality check with these two questions. Are there facts to back up the thought? And what would you say to a friend who thought this same way? And number three, respond with a new thought. Acknowledge the reality of what happened and a more helpful thought or what action you can take next. Losing my streak is a bummer, but tracking has kept me aware of my eating. Missing one day doesn't change that. I can go back and track now and start a new streak. As humans, we accept whatever our brain tells us, negative or positive. And this is because a lot of our thoughts are truly automatic and not even anything we have to think about. Sometimes it works in our favor, like telling ourselves, I look really good today, or my hair looks nice today, or look at me, I'm looking thinner and healthier, I can see a little bit more muscle. And that also goes for those negative thoughts. I've lost my tracking streak. I should be losing weight faster. I can't stick to anything. And because thoughts drive our actions, it's really important to have our thoughts be as positive as possible. And when those negative thoughts start creeping in, how we combat those is essential. We need to think about all realities. Sometimes those realities are good and sometimes those realities are bad. And if we have something negative happen in our health journey, all we need to do is turn it into something positive. Start fresh with the next meal or snack. Start over the next day start a new tracking streak, start a new workout streak, a water drinking streak, acknowledge all realities, positive and negative, and take those negative ones and spin them into positive ones. Yes, you made a mistake. You might experiencing, you may be experiencing difficulties and you can learn from all of those things and move on from it. What we have to do is move on from it, accept the reality and move on and turn that negative into something positive. Not only is this going to help us in our weight loss journey, but this is really going to help us in life in general. When negative things happen, when negative people come into our life, how do we turn that into a positive situation? I'm telling you by giving yourself grace and taking negative thoughts and spinning them into positive thoughts, it's going to help you reach your weight loss goals, stay with your weight loss goals, reach your health goals, and just make your overall life a healthier, more positive place to be. It's 
really important to navigate negative thoughts and spin them into those positive thoughts. Speaking into speaking about negative thoughts into positive thoughts, I've been complaining about my cycle all video, and I even was up on the scale a little bit last week, point four, and I mentioned that we'll have to see what happens with this week's weigh-in because I will be on my cycle. It is actually day four of my cycle, so I'm kind of getting towards the tail end of it. I've been feeling, like I said, a little more tired, a little more fatigued, a little bit more hungry. I always just feel kind of blah. It's hard to explain, but just bleh. I just feel bleh when I'm on my cycle, and that's kind of how I've felt this week. But I've taken that negative thought, that negative feeling, and I've spun it into something positive. I drank my water. I ate my calories. I went and did my workouts, regardless of being on my cycle. And when I stepped on the scale today, I am actually up point two. So my weight is up a little tiny bit. You guys, point two is a maintain. I literally could walk to my mailbox and back and potentially lose point two pounds. I always consider anything under a pound pretty much a maintenance, and point two is fantastic, considering I'm pretty much in the middle to the tail end of my cycle. So I am up point two this week. I'm not mad about it. I feel really good about it. To me, again, that's a maintenance and maintaining on my cycle, in my opinion, is a huge win. Once my cycle's over, I anticipate maybe that going away, but we'll see what the next week's weigh-in brings, but I'm not beating myself up. I'm actually turning that into something positive. A point two gain is a big win because I'm on my cycle and it could have been a lot worse. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. So now I wanna hear from you guys. How was your week? How was your weigh-in? What negative thoughts have you had that you've turned into positive thoughts and how did you do it? Let us know down in the comments. You may just help someone out more than you could ever imagine. And if you enjoyed another weigh-in video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on because we do a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will have nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our free Facebook group. We would love to have you. We'll also have the new Bob and Brad massage gun, obsessed with this, linked in the description box. Have an amazing Friday and I will see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye!